You're watching Market Headlines. At the Jakarta Composite Index Intraday Movement, earlier today, JCI was open at the level of 7,053.08 and then approaching the closing time on the first session, the index was on the level of 7,045.89. And then the index was showing weakening trend by the second session closing time. Index was closed at the level of 7,048.38. And in short, JCI went down 0.07%. And from the sectoral movement, property went up 1.07%, technology went up 0.73%, energy went down 1.12%, and cyclical went down 0.7%. And from the top gainers, BBRI went up 2% to 4,590 rupiah, BBNI went up 0.8% to 9,425 rupiah, Goto went up 1.58% to 193 rupiah, and Astra International went up 0.75% to 6,700 rupiah. Meantime, the top losers, BBCA went down 2.25%, Telkom went down 0.45%, Adaro went down 1.02%, and BBCA went down 1. BBYB, also included in the top losers. Meantime, from the rupiah movement towards US dollar, open at the level of 15,616 rupiah, showing weakening trend towards US dollar, and it was closed at the level of 15,609, and in summary, rupiah went down 0.44%. After experiencing a slow, slowdown in the first half of 2022, Astra Agro Star is optimistic to record 5% production growth in the rest of the year. Astra Agro Star is optimistic that it will be able to record 5% production growth in the remainder of 2022 after experiencing a slowdown in the first half of this year. Communication and Investor Relations Manager of Astra Grolstari, Fanny Sofian, say the company's production of fresh fruit bunches and CPO decreased in the first half of 2022. Based on the report, the total production of core and plasma fresh fruit bunches in the first semester of 2022 was 1.96 million tons. The number is down 12.1% on an annual basis. Meanwhile, CPO production was also observed to fall 15.8% on an annual basis to 638,000 tons. Meanwhile, from the financial aspect, the company is optimistic that it can achieve the targets that have been prepared previously. On the other hand, he said the company had to make some adjustments to the external situation and conditions, such as government policies and the world market situation which caused price to fluctuate. Previously, the company also stated that expansion efforts would continue throughout 2023. IDX Channel reports.